Okay, so now you know how to send text messages. You know how to get the most bang for your buck by paying attention to right down here. And if you didn't watch that video, highly recommend you do. Because if you don't, you may end up losing quite a bit of money um, without knowing it. Okay? Pay attention to the characters, the parts, and the costs down here. All right? Uh, today we're going to talk about, or in this video, we're going to talk about scheduling and automations. This is really cool stuff. This is like next level right here. All right. We'll pick a list for examples. We'll just pick this one again. We'll go add that list. Add list, 48 people, cool beans. We can say, you know, hey... Did you enjoy the PCB gift I gave you? Sure, we can say that. Remember, costs just under $2. It's one part. Remember, 160 characters makes it be one part. That's a maximum of having it be one part. If you go 161 or above characters, it's going to double your message. And then if you go to three parts, it's going to add another four cents to each message. So to get the most bang for your buck, you want to keep it under one part or one part, uh, nothing above that. Sometimes it is necessary though. So let's say that, you know, the event is uh, just ended and, you know, a week later, uh, these people already texted in or a few days later, you want to give them some time. You can just go right here, schedule a message and then scroll down. Uh, Text Magic does have tutorials as well. Uh, so if you're watching mine, then thank you. But yeah, you can pick the time, AM, PM, type in whatever time you want. You say, let's do 1030, you know, uh, let's do noon. And then you can pick the day as well. You can go forward, pick whatever day that you want to send it. Cool. Super simple. And you can, you know, schedule out multiple different messages to people. Uh, you know, every week you send them one broadcasted message, giving them something, you know, it could be a free gift. It could be um, your latest content video, whatever it is that you're, that you're doing. It could be some kind of promo, some special offer, just saying, Hey, want to just kind of check in, stay in the loop. You can schedule out all of those things. So all you do again is you just go to schedule message after you've picked it, whatever time and day you want to send it, you can pick the time zone as well. Super cool. You can preview in your calendar, preview the message, you can repeat it. So if you want to repeat it um, hourly, you could do that daily. Maybe it's a countdown sort of deal, weekly, monthly, yearly. You can do all that. Super cool. So it's just fun little features to play with and then just schedule. That's all you got to do. And it schedules it. And then you can come over here to scheduled check out. So I haven't scheduled a whole lot. Usually I just kind of send them. Um, but yeah, you can even just write it scheduled, go to new SMS, and then that'll give you another option. Then you can do that again and it just automatically opens it or you can do it straight from the com the composing section. But yeah, go to scheduled. You can review, uh, review all the different that you've scheduled right here. You can check your calendar. You can pause them. So if you schedule it, you can pause it, you can delete it, expand the view, uh, which is cool. Let's say something's coming up, you're like, oh shoot, wait a second, uh, it's not supposed to go out, you can cancel it, you can pause it so it doesn't happen that week. Uh, let's say you have some kind of countdown to some event or something that you're doing, then you can pause it if it's going out every hour to remind them until the next event if it's a recurring monthly thing. Uh, those are all different options that you can do, which is super cool. So that's scheduling. It's an automation feature that you do have. And the other automation feature, this is a really cool part, is that you can go to automation rules. So you go to services and then automation rules. Actually. Okay, cool. So this is like the real cool automation features that we do have. Yes, scheduling is cool. You can kind of automate it, set it up ahead of time. This is something cool that you can set up one time and it just stays there until you take it down. So 
couple different keywords that I have here uh, to create a new keyword. You go over here and basically what the keywords do, the keywords are something that when someone texts in a word, like I've mentioned in you know a few of these different videos, when you text the word unshakable to 657-310-2055, this number right here, that's my text magic number. When you text in unshakable to this phone number right here, then what happens is in a few seconds or about a minute or so, it's under a minute, it's probably like 30 seconds tops, uh, text magic on my behalf is going to send you for four cents a text message that I get to create and compose. So when you text unshakable, what happens is it says, thank you for texting in. Here is your, um, here's your free download and then it get, you just put in a link. Cool. But unshakable is the keyword that activates that in happening. So the benefit in this is that let's say that you're, you have some special offer at an event and you have a link to the landing page or to the checkout page, then whether it's virtual or it's uh, an in-person event as well, or maybe you want people to book a time with you to talk on the phone, then you can actually create a keyword and put that in here, which is crazy cool. So let's say that you wanted to do um, free phone call with me. This is just the name. The rule name is just what you see. Nobody else sees that. So just the rule name, just so you know, for your own records, you can put the date, you can do uh, whatever you want. So free phone call, let's say that that's what we're going for. And you do a presentation or something, you're on a podcast and you're talking to them. People are like, what's a free gift? Uh, I, I, I want to give people like a free phone call with me, you know, 30 minute consultation or hour, <clears throat> whatever it is that you want to do then you go over here to keyword and you can add a keyword or you can, you know, type in keywords down here. And these are all different keywords that I have for, you know, different things that I do. Um, <clears throat> but go over here to uh, free keyword, then you type in your keyword. I recommend with keywords, make them super simple, like one word. Don't say, uh, give me my free gift. That's like, so you don't want to be able to like, tell people, oh, text the word, or like text, give me my free gift to this. They're like, what? That's, I don't know, it's just weird. It's too much. Keep things simple. Simplicity is uh, the best. It's simplicity is king. So enter your keyword for free phone call. You can call it like free. We'll just call it free. Or you can call it like strategy or discovery. People have like discovery calls or a clarity call. Let's say it was a clarity call. You can call it clarity. So when you message people or you tell people, hey, I have a free gift. I want to do a free consultation with you. Totally complimentary. My gift to you. Just text the word clarity to whatever your text magic number is. So we'll just say clarity. We'll just for the sake, clarity call. Uh, keyword, and you can even go here. Instead of free phone call, we'll just call it a clarity call beautiful word clarity call there you go you can pick the different countries if you just want to focus on one specific country like just the united states uh just canada uh anything i just go any countries it's easy you know to, why limit it to people and then go to continue you can type you pick the type of message you want to do if you want to do a voice broadcast you can pick uh an audio file which is pretty cool. So that's what the responding message is. If people typed in clarity, then you would have that, but you wanna get people on the phone call. So what we would do is you can go, you know, I usually start mine by saying, thanks for texting in. Um, here's my link to book a call. You know, and you can do this. And then scroll down or keep it down. I like to keep it spaced easily for people, make it super simple. When you click enter and pop down, it's just one character each time. See that? Um, keeping everything under one part. Remember, because this is an automated message that gets sent. And like we talked about in the last one, you want to get the most bang for your buck. So keep things one part at all times. Sometimes it's necessary to go two parts, but 
never more than that do you ever need you know you never have to go to like three parts or six parts that's ridiculous uh, just keep things one part super simple super straightforward make it easy for people you want it to be effortless so people hear your podcast they hear you know your presentation they're like oh i really want to do a clarity call with sarah thanks for texting in is what they get back here's a link to book a call and let's say you have calendly you just copy paste your calendly link that's it and this is the exact message that people are going to see so if i if you text it in you know to book a time then you're going to get this message back and text message will or text magic will do that service for you for a whopping four cents. Thanks for texting in. Here's a link to book a call. And then right there is your link. Now, remember each when you, with your link, it doesn't count as one character. It's however many characters are in your link is what shows up, you know? So if you had like, tw you know, 50 characters or whatever, then it would bump up to 100. Uh, so you want to keep it under one part as much as possible. Sometimes, again, it's necessary. If you're cool with it, then you can have it be two parts and have it be eight cents for a message. But uh, if you had a list of people or you t spoke to an event with 100 people at it and 50 people texted in, then you'd be sending a four cent message uh, to each person, to those 50 people per person, if that makes sense. Okay, so ideally, yeah, to get the most bang for your buck, you do just want to keep it under one part. But you can have a calendar link in here. You can have your checkout page link in here. Let's say you're at an event, you're selling from the stage or something. And you can say, yeah, to get this, like you just do your whole closing thing, uh, your presentation for whatever product you're selling. And then you can say, yeah, just book the word, or text the word program or whatever the name of your program is in just one word text this word to this phone number, your text magic number. And then people text that in right there sitting in their seats. And then automatically within a couple seconds, they get a messaged response back. That's whatever you typed in here. And let's say that the link it's uh, you know, thanks for texting in. Here's, or you can even be like more direct and just be like, click the link below to enroll in, you know, blank, whatever the name of your program is. And you come down, oops, come down, and then you have a link to your checkout page. Whoa, right there. Or like a PayPal, maybe you have a fundraiser or something. You can have those links in here. All of that automatically gets set up. And you can always come back here. You can click on the automation rule. If you want to change something like the message, or maybe you want to change the name, then you can go through all this. Uh, again, but yeah, you just put your links in here, make it super easy. So when people text in that one word, it shows right back up to them and then they get this and then you click continue. And this is cool. Additional actions. So you can have it select on you know, or run on certain hours. I always just keep it on always run. Why not? Uh, with a contact list, you can add to your different lists like we talked about in the first video or so. So let's say that you had, you know, I don't know, you have your master list. Everybody goes on the master list. So, I mean, I recommend that every keyword should just be tied to the master list because that's everybody who's ever texted in or engaged with you. They all go on the master list regardless. But then even still, you can also have different events. So let's say this is event number one or something. You can click on this and uh, that's the date speaking event right there. Uh, you can even have them get taken off of this event or taken off of this list. So let's say that you had one big event that you were putting on an online event or an in-person event. And then people text in a number and there are the people who want to invest in like your top Mac daddy program. Then you can actually take them off, remove from this list and put them over to you know, Mac daddy list, you can call it or whatever you want. And you can do as many of these as you want. Pretty cool. So that's really helpful to know. Uh, and it's something you just, you just got to play around with. You know, I'm just putting this tutorial out just to show you how this stuff works so that you have a better idea. Uh, and this is for me actually using this stuff. I've taught sales teams the same exact thing. And they were like, whoa, this is amazing. And it is, it's pretty amazing uh, what you can do with this and keep things personal and in turn, make more sales for your business, which is really cool. 
So in the next video, uh, or you just click continue, I guess. Yeah, and then you come over here. Now it just kind of gives you a rundown. Clarity is uh, affected keywords. That's what people say. It's going to everybody. Uh, dedicated numbers and all that. And yeah, these are the lists. Just can, gives you a summary and you click finish. I'm not going to click finish though because I don't use clarity calls. I do focus sessions is what they're called. Um, so in the next lesson, we are going to go over... Uh, what happens when people call the phone number? That's a big question that people have. So keep an eye out for the next video and uh, we'll go over that. All right. Hope this helps and I will see you in the next one.